Hello guys, Steven here back with another video. And today I'll be teaching you how to use Lightroom presets to edit your Instagram photos. They're just an easier way. And I'm gonna be using some of my own in this video. Uh, so if you want them, they're free. Uh, in the future, they won't be free. Like I'll, I'll be making a set of new ones in the future. Uh, but right now I feel like my photos look good, but the presets could be better. Uh, so that's why I'm giving them out for free as well as I just wanna help anyone out who needs them and basically show them like what I use for my own photos because I do use my own presets. So they're in the description right now, free to download. All you have to do is like tweet out the link or something or share it on Facebook and you get it for free. If you want to support the channel, you can donate $5. Uh, you can buy it for $5. You know, that's really up to you. Please take in mind that people do sell it for like $30 and $20. Like I've bought presets from people in the past, like Rob Strock, uh, Justin Escalona, Mickey Mars. I bought all their presets and they're pretty expensive actually. Take advantage of it, like it's free. You know, they're pretty good. Uh, you know, personally, like if you like my Instagram feed, instagram.com slash Steven Van underscore, then you might like these presets. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's just get into it. Okay, so right now I'm in Adobe Lightroom. This is the original photo. I have a bunch of others to show you guys uh, some examples. And before you do anything, you wanna import it under the library here. So import your images and then go back here. And it's very simple, just right click on any of them, actually, just anywhere under this presets section and press import, and then you can select your presets. So I have them right here. Yours might be in a zip file and you wanna unzip it. It's very simple to unzip. Uh, I believe just right click and I don't know, there's some option uh, for unzipping. Uh, but here you can see all the templates. I've already imported them. So if you go to user uh, presets, there's some. So these are Mickey Mars's, so right here and the rest are Rob Strock's. I've yet to add the new ones I bought from uh, Justin Escalona, uh, but these five are mine right here. So they have different looks to all of them. So sometimes it won't look good in a particular setting. Uh, there's some presets that look better in some settings than others and some that look better for landscapes than portraits and stuff. So the first one I have here, and I chose this photo, first of all, just because it has a lot in the background and it has a person just to show you guys like both you know, sides of things. So this one has like a orangish, like warmer feel to it. If you go to the next one here, Van Su, it has a more of a nature look like greener. So this is like an orange version of this. And I think this has more like, I don't know, it looks more structured. It has more clarity for sure, right? Does it have more clarity? Yeah, it has more clarity. I think that's why it's like more aggressive. Uh, I like the look of that. I personally like the look of this better, however, just cause the greens uh, pop a little bit more and they're less and they're more saturated you can see this is more orange like even the leaves are orange here kind of number three is just a really simple black and white i really like this this is what i usually do for any black and white images if i ever do edit them like that so i'll turn down the exposure increase the highlights and stuff as well and there you can see it i think black and white images look good no matter what the image is like you can make an image look good by just making it black and white like even if it's a bad image but i just like it black and white it's just like it looks so nice right and this has clarity as well i like a really high clarity i do this for all my photos it just looks better that way like i know people complain about clarity because it looks unrealistic uh but i am releasing some presets in the future when i learn how to make it look better when there's less clarity like more of a fog effect like that I don't know how people do it, but here's 100 clarity. Kind of makes it brighter as well. You can see the difference between this and this. Next one we have is four, I believe. Yeah, four. So this has orange and green, so the best of both worlds. So basically one and two combined, and this has more color. You can see how this could be bad for some uh, like pictures. Like if your face was like had some green hue to it as well as orange and like it kind of i don't know it might not work but like in nature photos it will work really fine and this is the most saturated image that i'll ever have usually i keep the vibrance and saturation like really low and then five is like the whites are brighter and that's basically it the whites are brighter and everything else is uh less vibrant so let me go to another image that i think would like have a different setting uh not this one this one has uh, like the same setting kind of like in the background let me find a different one, like a darker image. Like maybe this has a darker sort of, yeah, this has a darker, oh, this is unfocused. Is that unfocused? Yeah. So I already did an edit on this actually. So let me just reset it to the beginning. So this is the normal photo. It actually looks pretty good just like that. Number one, you can see the orange really appears, really pops to the green. You can see it's kind of warmer in this one. Three black and white looks amazing. Black and white, white's the best. This, you can see there's like that blue visible there. You can see color pretty evidently. 
and then five, it's really bright. And then now I'm gonna choose an image that doesn't have people in it. So like this, like some of them won't like look really good with them. So like if you go in van one, no, actually this look pretty good. Not that bad, okay. This is probably the best it's gonna be. Three, or black and white. Like if I was doing the black and white, I would make the whites higher like that. That would look better. So you have to adjust it based on the setting and stuff. That doesn't look so good. Like maybe if I turn that up, then it look a little bit better. You know what I mean? Five. Yeah, it looks more like, it looks kind of like black and white. Like the way I edited black and white, like kind of looks like what it would look like. So like if I do this, it would look kind of like this, right? I guess the shadows are darker, but yeah, that's basically, I just want to show you guys my, uh, my presets and how they work. And basically to export, you just want to right click on them, export and export with previous or export uh, to a certain, you know, location. So hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully you guys download these LUTs. Uh, they're very helpful for me. I use them in all my uh, photos and stuff. And yeah, um, hit the thumbs up button. It really means a lot. If you want more presets or anything, uh, you guys can check out like my cell phone. There's going to be a bunch more. And yeah, my name's Steven and I'll see you in the next one.